Uh, so before talking about my job, we will do a small game. Uh, I will show you some pictures and you will tell me who is the people on the picture. Right. Right. Well. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So that's normal that you don't know uh, as well the last one as the previous one. Just for, to illustrate that all those people that you have seen before are not only people, but they are brand. They are their own brand. And why they are their own brand? Because someone is taking care of their image. And you see, um, when I show the picture, almost all of you knows the name. So this is because those people are as famous uh, as Nike, Adidas, or uh, Starbucks. They are, they are really brand. And personal brand is what people say about you when you are uh, outside, when you, when you leave the room. So this is the image that you, that you keep uh, when, you are, when you are somewhere else. But this is a question of management. And my job is to manage this image. So, uh, we'll talk a little bit about my own job, then I will show you the tools uh, that I use to do this job, and then the result that we can uh, achieve. So, the job itself, there is three big parts. First one is the study. Uh, example, uh, I'm the personal brander of Shah Rukh Khan. So, the, my first job will be, I go on the web and I check everything that people say about Chao Khan. Uh, does he have a Facebook page? Does he have a Twitter? Uh, does he have a blog? Uh, what kind of article can I find on his, uh, on his name? In India, outside of India. Everything, I collect all the information to build a global profile. So, for someone like Chao Khan, if he would have been uh, one of my clients, but he's not, <laughs> it's very, very big job because there is thousands of information. But I can do that also for uh, CEOs, I can do that for singers, for uh, people who are working on TV shows, or just for people who want to have a good image on the web. There are no CEOs, there are no singers, they are not famous, they just want to manage their own image and mostly on the web. Second part is the dialogue with the guy or, or the, the lady I need to work with. So we'll take a lot of time to see uh, what kind of image she wants to show to the other people. Uh, what supports she wants to use. Does she want to go on the web, on Facebook, on Twitter? Uh, does she have a Flickr account? Does she have Instagram account? Should we manage all of that? Or Maybe she just wants to be unknown and know in a very specific and particular area just by her website or her Facebook page or nothing on the web. So we need to um, talk a lot to define a global image strategy. For example, one of my previous clients in France, he was a CEO of a, of a company and his main problem was uh, he was everywhere on the web. He was on LinkedIn, he was on Facebook, with two, three profiles on LinkedIn, with two, three profiles on Facebook. Uh, he's got a Pinterest and he was uh, sur-exposed. So everyone was 
just sending invite and asking for connection and it was just impossible to manage and as he doesn't want to lose any client it was a big big mess for him because he spent all his nights answering to all the requests and uh, writing to all the people so the first thing that we uh, did together is uh, we, we focus on a very specific part of his business and we focus on his image as the owner of this company for this specific business putting on the side everything else and after only after six months we achieved this goal and now all the connection that you have is are sorry for real business for uh, this particular thing and not for all the other thing that he that he is managing so we need to define uh, all of that with the um, with the, the client because for me uh, those people are, are, are clients we have to be very close with the people you are working with, working with and very uh, available because when you start the process to managing the image of someone he will be uh, afraid to put anything on the web without asking you if he can or if he can't because the goal of this uh, of this job is to change the image or to maintain the, the level of, of the image and once you you start to change the image after that it's very difficult for you to go back and to put something wrong on the web and to uh, uh, erase all the, those uh, months of work that you did i used to work with someone maybe you know uh, with vishal singh this is a, a tv uh, tv soap uh, actor and <coughs> If you see his image from last year to now, slowly, 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 it's going to, it's going to change. It's more professional, less private, uh, more aspirational. He's talking with a very um, tight uh, target of, uh, of fans. Uh, because before that, this, is a, this guy has got a very big heart. And he would like to answer to all his fans and to be uh, nice for everyone and to, uh, to be pleasant for everyone. But finally, he lost a lot of fans doing that. So now he, I, I'm helping him to focus on something more specific and putting just some very specific picture, talking about some very specific subject and not to spread too much information about his private life particularly. <clears throat> so this is the, the building of the image strategy and it takes time and it never comes from me this is always uh, something coming from my client this is his own image I will not tell him you should, uh, you should be like this he is like this but what you want to show we have to decide together so this is really a, a tailor made job and what, what I have to do in this job is to make you different. There is a uniformity of the, of the people and what they are looking for is to be just a little bit different or more aspirational or more interesting by something very specific. So my tools to do that. First, I put the sofa because this is really the same job as a psychologist first. We talk, we talk a lot, we talk a lot, I write some notes and after that I build all the strategy on what we said together. Then we decide what we will put online or what we will put on the newspaper or on the TV. I put also a cup of coffee because you need to have a lot of time with the people. Of course, main tool is my computer and my phone because I need to be reachable all the time once the process again once the process starts you need to be reachable all the time <laughs> and I put also the dumbbell just because all the all, the, all of my clients I found them at the gym club <laughs> almost of them uh, just to illustrate that uh, if you want to be a personal brander uh, you have to select uh, a scope of action. I, I go to the fitness club every day, so I, I was thinking, okay, this is the place I will find some interesting people uh, as a personal brand. And finally, it works. I found CEOs there, so talking with people, just 
telling what I'm doing. I just found the, those people there. I found actors there, uh, this TV uh, TV actor. So if you uh, if you are fond of wine, for example, you can be uh, in a wine club and talking about wine and all. And finally, you will find one or two clients uh, interested by the image management. And then uh, there is two main uh, main universe. There is the offline universe. So in this offline universe, my job would be to advise what support to use. Example, uh, this guy, Vishal, he will be asked for 10, 12 interviews per week sometime. And we will decide together which is the best support for him regarding his, uh, his activity of the moment, his promotion to use. Uh, we will also decide what he should wear <laughs> during those interviews or those shooting. So uh, for Vishal now he's starting to be quite famous. This is the only example that I will give you. I have some others, but I can't tell. <laughs> uh, he's starting to be quite famous. And now his image is, uh, is, some, is, is like his own brand. So he can't uh, do a wrong thing. So we need to select what he will wear and uh, how he will dress. And also, and this is uh, the tricky part, uh, where he should go, where he should be seen, where he shouldn't. So for example, he will, be, uh, he will receive, I think, 20 invitations or 30 invitations per week. And he should select where it's important for him and for the image that he wants to, uh, to show where he should go. This is a bit, uh, a bit difficult for someone to uh, be drive li like this all the time, but that's the, that's the rule. After that, uh, at the beginning, I, I take the end, and after some time, I release the pressure <laughs> slowly, slowly, and then they, they manage their own image. But all those super famous people that you saw at the beginning, they have a team to uh, drive their image. They are so famous that they need uh, advices and communication all the time. Bigger part of my, jo my, uh, my job is online. So checking your image online by using Google, of course. So I'm Googling those people all the time to check what is said about them. And should we uh, ask to uh, erase something or should we answer to some comments? This is a big part of the job. Also, check that the Wikipedia page is always uh, updated. And use all the tools that you, uh, that you all know, uh, like uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, WordPress, if they have a blog, Instagram, YouTube channel. Uh, and that's almost uh, Pinterest. And put what is relevant for them to keep the same image. Because what is important in this job is to have a line, to have a strategy, and to follow, to follow this line on all those media. You can't be uh, Mr. Vishal Singh uh, this way in GQ, for example, and someone else in, uh, in Facebook. You have to be homogeneous, completely homogeneous. And for example, I took the, uh, this example of uh, Amir, uh, can and I check just to uh, to see if uh, I was right telling you that uh, if you go to his Facebook page, if you go to his Twitter, if you go to his uh, own uh, blog, you will see he's just posting a picture uh, about his new PQ uh, uh, PQ movie. This is very homogeneous. He's, he's driving the same same image all the time. This is not that different in a sense uh, as I do that also a little bit. So what to wear, where to go, where not to go. The only uh, slide on the top is the online slide. So what image to put, what to say on the web, what not to say, what we should erase, what we should take care of. There is many ways. For, uh, you can do it yourself but you can ask to some uh, legal company to do it for you. Uh, because for example, I took this example uh, with the, the lab tree uh, previously. 
Uh, when I left L'Oréal, my previous company, I did a video to say bye bye to everyone after nine years of L'Oréal. And I put the video and I put the rush. The video is still on the same YouTube page and people, some people see it sometimes. And the rush, I, was, I just put it for fun. And some people took the rush, took the rush because it was super fun and spray it everywhere. And each time I achieve to erase one of the video, it appears somewhere else. So my only way if I really want to uh, erase the video is to ask to a legal company to make very uh, legal paper to, uh, to erase the video. You have to uh, keep in mind that everything that you put on the web will stay on the web. So this is the, this is the most uh, tricky part. And all those people who are coming famous suddenly, they have a past. And they have a past on the web. And this past on the web is very tricky to manage because everyone has been young, everyone has been drunk, everyone has taken pictures of uh, anything and this is super difficult to erase after. And Facebook is terrible for that. The process to erase your past on Facebook it's a crazy, crazy mess. They can, they can, if they, they want to be, uh, yeah, if, if they want to, to do something bad for some, some, someone, you can create a fake past. And this is, uh, this is also very difficult to, uh, to erase. But Facebook in this way is very, um, very, very uh, helpful because if you declare that uh, this is not your profile and you didn't put this picture, someone took your picture and uh, used your name, they will erase automatically, automatically. The only thing that they, that they don't want to erase uh, easily is the picture that you choose to put once and that you want to erase, uh, erase after. That's the, they are not. You think it's erased, but it's somewhere. It's 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 still somewhere in the history, and someone clever in computer and informatic and all will will find it. This is really a um, question of contact with people, uh, as you can imagine. And I will never go uh, to the gym with my card and say, uh, "I'm a personal brander. Do you need some coach in image?" Uh, most of the time, we are doing uh, workout and just talking. Oh, what are you doing? Because it was super easy for me because all those people before coming in India, I didn't have any clue of who are they, of who they are. Uh, th those famous people, I was doing workout with them. We were talking about uh, weather and uh, and uh, the color of the car and not about our our job. And suddenly, in the talking, just start to talk about what is, what is your job. And most of the time, it's come from them. They just ask me, oh, what are you doing? So globally, I'm doing digital marketing. And, and at the beginning, I was just saying of a little bit of personal branding. Oh, what is personal branding? And after that, OK. So maybe I will need some advice. And when they start to ask advice and we start to uh, to uh, redesign the profile and all, they, uh, they just get, they just realize that this is good for their image. And the result for me is uh, the increasing of the audience or, or the targeting of this audience. And I have very uh, easy tools to uh, measure that, uh, the number of followers on Facebook, if I increase uh, or not on Twitter, uh, what is said about this guy on Google, what is said about this guy on the newspaper and all. So for that, we can select. For the offline, we can, this is easier to select. For the online, we, we can select a little bit, but we have to, to check uh, almost every day. For example, if you want to, uh, if you have a past uh, in a company and if you want to set up your own company, if you want to find a good way to talk about you and about yourself, about uh, what you want to sell, you have to work on your own image. Because there is the image that you 
build during those days of work in the previous company and there is maybe this new image that you want to settle for the new uh, for the new business and in this case you need someone to help you to build the right image for example for me uh, because as a personal brander um, I need to work also on my own image and um, one of the first question was should I have a public profile on Facebook or not. Uh, I, I give this advice to uh, some famous people to have two Facebook profiles, one very private for friends and one which looks like private but which is public. And because people don't like those super public profile and they have uh, 15,000 millions of fans, this is not super interesting. So when you are a, a star, uh, are famous and you want to have a, a profile on Facebook, it should give a little bit of privacy and a lot of aspirational and the image that you want to build, but it should stay with a little bit of privacy. And for me it was too complicated to have one private, one public, so my profile is public so you can see my party and you can see my work and you can see uh, everything and you just have to, <laughs> to manage with that. This is, this is the first part, you know, the part of the, the, the study. You have to go and to analyze almost every day what's happened on the web with the people you are working with. And if something is wrong, because um, if you want to stay authentic, you have to let people say what they want to say. And there are a lot of people who don't like Shah Rukh Khan and that's life and that's even better for him because if you are if you are erasing all the bad comments, you are just, this is not possible to work, to work like, like that. You, you, you will lose your credibility. So uh, you should let people say and remove what is wrong and what is false, but should let, let people talk. And usually on Facebook, what I say to, uh, to um, public people is, don't let uh, people comment and over and over and over comment. Offer them to, uh, to have a word with you on, uh, on your private email or some, something else. Offer them to, to share their, uh, their um, email or their phone number and talk to them. Because this is super easy to have a very bad, bad buzz uh, on the web when you start to answer and answer and answer again. For some of them, everything is managing by a communica big communication agency. F uh, in the case of Twitter, this is very personal thing. So once uh, I teach them how to use the network and what they should say or what they shouldn't say, they do it themselves. Most of them, they do it themselves, in Twitter at least. After that, when you start to post pictures, like in Facebook, when you start to do interviews, you need to be dry, drive a little bit, a little bit more. We, we do that very, um, very uh, focused attention at the beginning. After that, people do their own. Yeah, yeah. people do their own most of the time. Uh, this is difficult for the CEO, for example. For the CEO, as they talk with uh, everyone and as they have their own employee, most of the time before tweeting or before putting something on Facebook, they just send a, send a call. Can I, take, can, I call, um, can I talk about that or not? Or, uh, but for actors and famous people, after some time, they do it, they do it themselves. For example, last uh, thing that I, I removed uh, from someone who, who is famous is a picture of his son playing uh, on the ground with some, uh, some other, uh, other kids and there was a very bad things on the background and he didn't see, when he clicked the picture, he didn't see what was happening on the background and he was just about to put the picture on Facebook and I saw the picture, I just sent a call I, because for those people I'm the manager of their, of their page so they can do whatever they want but I can do whatever I want <laughs> as well. So I just, because uh, uh, that's, that's better, I just send a call and I tell him I will remove the image, there is something very bad that the, uh, in the background. 
So I have to be very careful and each time one of my clients is publishing something somewhere uh, that I manage also, I, I, I'm aware of that on my, uh, on my phone. So I have to be careful all the time. So hopefully I have only two, three clients in the same time because otherwise it's, a, it's awful. <laughs> but it's a very interesting job because this is very uh, interactive and uh, there is a lot of psychology in it. Uh, this is also creative because you, you can uh, talk with people who are very creative. Don't, so this is, this is very interesting in this way. I would say that my job is just to highlight the strengths and, uh, uh, of those guys. I don't want to change them. They are what, what they are. But we can just w work on the part, the most interesting part of who they are. And just avoid to talk about the dark side, I would say. So, but I never change them. I'm not a psychologist, you know. Uh, and uh, sometimes they think that I am a psychologist, so that they, they just still talk to me, talk to me again. But I'm just here to uh, to say what is good and what is less good in terms of image. They just have to uh, take care about what they publish on the web themselves, their own Facebook page and their tweets and all. Because, for example, if they uh, have a political opinion and they, they put it on Twitter, it will stay. It will stay. So I don't encourage anyone not to uh, put his political opinion on, on Twitter because your political opinion is a political opinion and you can think what you, uh, what you think. But you, you have to know that by, indu by doing that, you expose yourself. Anything that you put on the web, you expose yourself. So just think about the future. When you post something, just think about how this information can be used by someone else. Googling your name is, do that. That's super interesting to see uh, what Google is telling about you. And you will see that the three, four first results would be social networks. First LinkedIn, then Facebook, then, 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 then. But first result would be social network. So if you are very active in dedicated social network, they will be on the top. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.